Good morning. So the governing body of Watchtower has made some changes to their policies. If they make enough changes, will their religion be acceptable? I came across a nice illustration of Jesus. It's in Luke 5 and verse 36. And he said this, and I'm using Barclay's translation. No one tears a piece from a new coat and uses it to patch an old coat. If he does, he will tear the new coat and at the same time, the patch from the new coat will not match the old coat. And he also went on to say that you don't put new wine into old wineskins. The old wineskins would burst and you would lose both the wineskin and the new wine. So what was he talking about? He was talking about the human dislike of sudden change. He said, nobody likes the new wine, everybody likes the old. So, um, where am I today? Yes, in order to understand this, we need to look at the context. And the context was that the scribes and Pharisees had criticised Jesus for eating with sinners. Jesus had been eating with the tax collectors and other sinners. Absolutely dreadful, of course. And then the scribes and Pharisees also criticised Jesus and his disciples for not fasting. The Pharisees had gone way beyond the law of Moses regarding fasting, and they fasted about twice a week, something like that. But Jesus' disciples didn't. So Jesus gave this illustration and then he made things worse by curing people on the Sabbath. The scribes and Pharisees didn't like Jesus' way of doing things. Now, why was that? It was because they hadn't looked at the law of Moses properly. They hadn't looked at the overall picture. What was the law of Moses there for? Instead of looking at all the niggly little laws, they should have looked at the overview. It was pointing them to the Messiah, a prophet greater than Moses. They should have been waiting and ready for Jesus to come. And when he did come, they should have said, wonderful, he's come at last. Now we can hand things over to Jesus and he will teach us how to do things. Not a bit of it. They had their own ways of doing things. <clears throat> I'd like to quote from the Cambridge Bible, this is for students, written in the 19th century, I'd add. And it says that our Lord is referring to the proposal to enforce the ascetic leanings of the Pharisees. The Pharisaic regulations had become a parasitic growth on the old dispensation they'd added to the Mosaic law. So it goes on to say, it was impossible to tear a few doctrines and precepts from Christianity and use them as ornaments and improvements to the Mosaic law. You can't use bits of the new Christianity to change the old Judaism. We know that the Judaic, sorry, the Judaic system of worship came to an abrupt and violent end in the year 70 CE. So what of us today? The kingdom is coming and it will bring new changes. We need to look at the whole point of Christianity. It's leading us towards the kingdom. It's the good news of the kingdom. We want sinners to be saved, not to be thrown out of the congregation so that everybody, when the kingdom comes, is ready for the changes that Jesus Christ will make. So, will Watchtower's system of judicial, um, whatever they have, their secret rules, is that going to go on into the kingdom? Absolutely not. As Jesus said, you cannot use patches of the kingdom to patch up Watchtower's dreadful, illegal, and lethal way of doing things. That's nothing to do with Jesus Christ. So we have the kingdom to look forward to, and it will be wonderful. We will be ready and waiting 
and willing to do whatever Jesus wants us to do when that time comes. So I'm hoping to leave you with a little view of a nice evening, a nice, pleasant, peaceful time. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>